If you have a $20 note, you'll notice that there is an image of Mary Reeby on one side. Mary was from Lancashire, and in 1792, at the age of 13, she was convicted of horse stealing and sentenced to seven years transportation to the colony of New South Wales. In 1794, aged 15, she married young Thomas Reeby, a junior officer on the ship Britannia. In time, Mary and Thomas had seven children. Mary developed a reputation as being a very resourceful pioneer woman. Additionally, she was also known as a very successful and respectable merchant. When Mary's husband Thomas died, Thomas Jr. took over running the family business. He captained the family ship, sailing to and from Tasmania. About that time, Mary applied for a land grant and received 300 acres around this area here. A little while later, Thomas Jr. decided to build his family home here in 1819. Around that time, the original grant of 300 acres had grown to 2,600 acres. When you take into consideration their shipping business, plus the wharf interests in Launceston, they really had become people of means. When Thomas Reby Jr. died in 1842, his son, Thomas Reby III, inherited the estate. Aside from running the family business, Thomas Reby III was also a minister of religion and for a short time served in the Tasmanian government. One of his passions was racehorses. And in 1884, one of his horses, Malau, won the Melbourne Cup. From convicts to pillars of the community, the Reby story is one of rags to riches. Well, there are no more clues to find. This is almost the end of your journey. And that you've made it to here, I have to say, well done. So where is the mystery picnic spot? We'll continue down this road until you reach the river. Get out of the car and go all the way down to the river bank. When you're at the river bank, look across the river and you will see the mystery picnic spot.